What's happening, YouTube? It's Mobrenoscopy, and this is the half ass Rap Show, hosted by David Mobren. I, of course, am your host, David Mobren. And today, I'm going to be discussing some of the tapes that I've been listening to, as well as some that were sent to me, and some that I've recently picked up on my own. First things first, though, and I don't know, maybe you've already noticed it by now, but in case you haven't, there's a new shelf in my videos. I'm talking about the one behind me that holds virtually all of my awesome rap cassettes. And if you remember, I used to have all my rap cassettes on this rack, which now holds my non-rap cassettes, but after that last mega haul of tapes, I had to overhaul my storage method. And you know what? Between the two, I'm pretty sure I made the right call. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. Now on to the tapes that were sent to me, this time from Buster Casey. Mr. Casey, <clears throat> or I mean Nathan, sent me a copy of the first Tribe Called Quest album, People's Instinctive Something or Another, Traveling on Roads of Rhythm, I don't know. I've never been the biggest Tribe fan, but you know, I do like Midnight Marauders and the Low End Theory, so I'm pretty sure this one's just as good, if not better than those two. We'll see. He also sent me a copy of Eric Sermon's debut solo album from 1993 titled No Pressure, and it's pretty much another EPMD album, and I mean that in the best way possible. Definitely check it out if you see fit. Finally, Mr. Casey rounded out the cassette tape hobnobbing by also including a copy of Welcome to America by Schooly D, which I was pretty stoked for because I'm sure as you already know, any Schooly D album is very tough to come by. And I've only listened to one side of it so far, but it was dope to the max. It's gonna look real sweet next to my copy of Am I Black Enough for you? Thanks again, Mr. Casey. You're a true American. And with that, it's now time to transition over to the portion of this video where I show you the tapes that I've recently been listening to. Let's go check it out. First up, here we have Both Sides of the Brain by Del the Funky Homo Sapien, which I recently featured in a haul video. But unlike my last copy that I sold, I decided to keep this one and check it out. Which was the right call, by the way, because this album is pretty unique. Without a doubt, this album falls under the alternative rap category, featuring some pretty ambient beats and above average rhyme flow. Always insightful, humorous, and intriguing, Dell brings it hard on this album. Definitely a keeper. Next we have Chill Rob G with Ride the Rhythm on Wild wow Pitch Records from 1989. And most of you might know Chill Rob G from that early 90s snap song titled Ride the Rhythm was Chill Rob G's only solo release up until 2008 when he released Black Gold, which I am never gonna listen to. That having been said, Ride the Rhythm is a pretty decent album, and while its flag is heavily rooted in hip-hop, it also incorporates elements of trance and high energy. It's an interesting album to say the least, and while it might not be my favorite, I definitely dig it. Next up, we have Young Black Brother by Mac Dre, which in my mind is a pseudo-greatest hits album considering he handpicked tracks off of his first three EP releases, as well as recorded some new ones to include on the album, and spoiler alert, the results are funky as hell. Mac Dre is everything Too Short wishes he could be and so much more. In fact, I listened to this album for about a week and a half straight before I finally decided to give it a rest, and I highly suggest you do the same. Who knows, you might learn a thing or two. Next we have AMG's Bitch Better Have My Money, the album, and it is not very good at all. Super bland and unoriginal. In fact, the only highlight is the album's title track which I danced to during my 1992 Barcelona vacation. It is worth noting, however, that there is a polka rap song on the album, which really sucks, but it also needs to be heard to be believed. We are officially approaching the home stretch of this installment of a half-assed rap show, but before I go, I've saved two of the best tapes for last. And it's not that I've been showing you total duds or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get the flavor that I'm trying to kick in your ear. Here we have Short Dog's second EP release, Don't Stop Rapping, Sealed. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm not even the biggest fan of Too Short, but I do like some of his stuff, and I got this off the bay for a reasonable price. And it's actually pretty decent. Nothing that really blew my skirt up, so to speak, but it's certainly an important piece of the collection. Definite keeper. Finally, I am pleased to present to you one of, if not the hardest gangster rap release of the 20th century. Of course, I'm talking about 24 Deep by Brother Lynch Hung. It's his debut EP release from 1993, and when I first found out about this release, I listened to it ad nauseum for at least two weeks straight. Lyrical themes include homicide and even more homicide. Need I say more? Actually, yes, because without a doubt, this will definitely be the next tape I review. And that's some real conversation for your ass. And that about does it for me for this installment of a half-assed rap show hosted by David Mowren. I, of course, have been your intrepid host, David Mowren. 
Join me next time as we find out the hard way why they call him Brother Lynchung. He said it! <laughs> you said it! <laughs>